If you always wondered which power transistor you should use for your circuits, in this video we will see all the main differences between the IGBT, the BJT, and of course, the MOSFET. As a designer you will have to determine whether to use BJTs or MOSFET in your application power stage. Or should the designer use IGBTs? Would they work in the design? Would they be better? So there are several choices, but which is the best? In this comprehensive exploration, we will thoroughly examine the key distinctions between BJT, MOSFET, and IGBT, enabling you to make well-informed decisions that align with the specific requirements of your project. First, let's get acquainted with all three types. Bipolar Junction Transistor BJT. Bipolar junction transistors are turned on by an input current applied to the base. BJTs have low input impedance. According to the type of connection and the placement of these bases, they are made in two types, PNP and NPN. PNP is a type of transistor in which an N semiconductor base is placed between two P semiconductor bases. Also, when a P semiconductor base is placed between two N semiconductor bases, an NPN transistor is made. NPN type is one of the most widely used transistors. NPN and PNP transistor symbol. Transistors basically have three bases. In BJT, these bases are called collector, base and emitter, and we show them with three letters B, C, and E respectively. Structure of transistors Transistors are made by placing three different layers of semiconductor material together. Some of these layers have had extra electrons added to them, a process called doping, and others have had their electrons removed. In fact, these substances are contaminated with holes, absence of electrons. A semiconductor material with an extra electron is called an n-type semiconductor, and a material from which the electron has been removed is called a p-type semiconductor. The letter n at the beginning of the word means negative and is used because of the negative charge of the electron. The reason for using p is that the charge is positive due to the presence of holes. Transistors are made by placing N semiconductor material on both sides of P semiconductor or vice versa. The NPN transistor is designed to pass electrons from the emitter to the collector, so the usual direction of current is from the collector to the emitter. The emitter emits electrons to the base. The base controls the number of electrons emitted. Most of the emitted electrons are collected by the collector and then circulate in the circuit. A PNP transistor works in a similar way, but in reverse. In this transistor, the base still controls the current, but the current is in the opposite direction, from the emitter to the collector. This time, instead of electrons, the emitter emits holes that are collected by the collector.
The MOSFET transistor is equipped with three bases, source, gate, and drain, by applying voltage to the gate base. The electric current between the drain and source bases can be controlled. When you press the key in your room, the electrical circuit is connected and the electric current reaches the lamp. So the voltage applied to the gate does the same thing in the MOSFET. Connecting the gate to the voltage source causes the resistance between the drain and the source to decrease drastically and create a channel for the flow of current from the drain to the base of the source. When no voltage is applied to the gate, the drain to source resistance increases sharply and the current path is lost. Classification of MOSFET MOSFET transistors are divided into two categories, MOSFET enhancement and MOSFET depletion. In enhancement MOSFET, no channel is created in advance between the drain and the source, and by applying the appropriate voltage to the base of the gate, the current passing channel is created. The width of the channel depends on the voltage level applied to the gate, and as a result, the current passing through it can be controlled. In the depletion type, the channel is created by the manufacturer and by applying voltage to the gate base. We can change the width of the channel. While the enhancement MOSFET is by default without applying voltage to the gate base, the depletion MOSFET is connected due to the presence of the channel and by applying a negative voltage to the gate base, we can reduce the width of the channel. In general, enhancement and depletion MOSFETs are made in two types, N and P, in which the current flows from the drain to the source and in the P type, the current flows from the source to the drain. Insulated Gate Bipolar Transistor, or IGBT for short, is a semiconductor device that has a function between a bipolar junction transistor, BJT, and a field effect transistor, MOSFET. The IGBT transistor has the best parts of the two common BJT and MOSFET transistors in its structure. In fact, the large input impedance and high switching speed of the MOSFET and the low saturation voltage of the BJT combine to create another type of transistor, the IGBT, which is capable of operating at high values of collector emitter current, with almost zero gate voltage. As the name suggests, IGBT is equipped with isolated gate MOSFET technology and also has a common bipolar transistor. The result of such a combination has the output switching and conduction characteristics of a bipolar transistor, but is a voltage-controlled device like the MOSFET. IGBTs are widely used in power electronics applications such as inverters, converters, and power supplies that require switching components where MOSFETs and BJTs do not perform well. High voltage and high current bipolar transistors are available, but their switching speed is low. On the other hand, although the switching speed of power MOSFETs is higher, the high voltage and high current components are expensive. IGBT structure Insulated gate bipolar transistor has more power than standard bipolar transistor. It also has the ability to work at higher voltage and lower input losses. From a functional point of view, the IGBT is a FET combined with a bipolar transistor to form a Darlington configuration. The IGBT is a 3-pin conduction device that is made by combining an N-channel MOSFET with an isolated gate at the input and a PNP bipolar transistor at the output, forming a Darlington circuit. Therefore, the bases of IGBT are called collector, emitter, and gate. Two of these bases, C and E, correspond to the conduction path through which the current passes. The third pin, G, also controls the segment. 
The value of the IGBT gain is equal to the ratio of the output signal to the input signal. For a typical BJT, the value of gain is approximately equal to the ratio of output current to input current, called beta. The BJT varies its output current, defined here as the current flowing through the device from emitter to collector, or vice versa, according to its base drive current multiplied by its current gain, HFE. Because of this, the BJT is often described as a current controlled device. The MOSFET is described as a voltage controlled device because its output current varies as a function of a small voltage applied to its gate. Functionally, what is happening is that the electrostatic field of the gate is impinning on and affecting the resistance of the source to drain channel of the device, hence the term field effect transistor. The IGBT can also be considered a voltage controlled device as its output current is also a function of a small voltage applied to its gate. It differs functionally, however, in that this control signal voltage modulates a channel resistance, which in turn also varies the number of current carriers, both electrons and holes, available to carry current from the emitter terminal to the collector terminal.